Hello, in this video we're going to look at the price elasticity of demand and take an algebra-based approach. So the price elasticity of demand, E subscript D, is going to be derived from a linear demand equation. So the elasticity of demand given this linear demand equation is going to be given by the change in Q over the change in P multiplied by the price divided by the quantity, P divided by Q. We need three things to calculate this formula. First, we need the slope of the demand equation. And when I talk about a demand equation, I mean that Q, the quantity demanded, is a function of price. So in this case, the slope is going to be, given this general form here, just minus B. An important point is that we don't want to use the slope of the inverse demand equation. So if you're given the equation where price is a function of quantity, we don't want to plug in the slope for that equation into our formula. So if you're given the inverse demand, you want to turn it into a regular demand equation by solving it for Q. We'll do this later on with a numerical example. You need two other things. You need the price that you're going to evaluate the elasticity at. And then the third thing we need is the quantity. So the P and the Q. Step two, we need a price. Step three, we need this Q down here in the denominator. And that Q is going to be the amount consumers are willing and able to buy at the price listed in step two. So if the price listed in step two, say, is $10, how many units will consumers buy at a price of $10? That'll be our Q. So just rewriting what we had from the last screen. And let's start with a numerical example. So we have this demand here, Q equals 10 minus 2P. What is the price elasticity of demand at $3? So again, we need three things, the slope, the price, and the quantity. So let's get the quantity first. When P equals 3, so plug this $3 into this demand equation, we'll note that Q equals 10 minus 6, or 4. So now we got the P and the Q for our formula. So where we have a P, we're going to plug in 3. Where we have the Q, we'll plug in 4. The final thing is to get the slope of this demand equation, which is just minus 2, the thing in front of the, the price variable. So doing the math here, we're going to get minus 6 divided by 4, or minus 1.5 as the price elasticity of demand. Example two, slightly different linear demand equation. What is the price elasticity of demand at $8? When P equals eight, plugging this price equals eight into the demand equation, we see that consumers will buy 40 units. So plugging everything then into our formula, price eight, quantity 40, we need to get the slope of the demand, which is just minus 0 0.5. So plugging that out in front, we're going to get minus 4 divided by 40, or minus 0 0.1. Example 3. Here we have now an inverse demand, so we want to be careful here. What is the price elasticity of demand at $50? So the first thing I want to do is get the regular demand equation, where Q is a function of price. So first solve for the demand equation. So just moving some things around here, adding 10Q to both sides and subtracting price from both sides, and then dividing everything through by 10. So 100 divided by 10 is 10, and then just 1 over 10 is 0 0.1. So now we got this inverse demand into the regular demand format, and we can proceed by getting the quantity when P is 50, quantity is 5, and then putting everything into our formula, the price divided by the quantity, and then the slope of the demand equation of minus 0 0.1. Again, what's ever in front of the price term, we plug that right in here for the slope of the demand, and we get a price elasticity of demand equal to minus 1. 